Hi, I'm Glenn Hutchins. This is Nick Hill from Tri Green Equipment here in Athens, Alabama. In order to get here, you've clicked on the QR code on our new decal that we're putting on tractors to help our customers understand the diesel particulate filter or exhaust filter on new Tier 4 compliant tractors. We'll be going over some steps and some lights you may see pop up on your new tractor and explain what they are and what the processes are. So follow along. We're going to take a look at the heart of the system, the DPF filter. And the following slides will explain what it is and what it does. The EPA's emissions requirements have become much more stringent, as you can see. Part of these changes require diesel particulate matter, or soot, from the exhaust to be significantly reduced. Now that's where the DPF comes in. The DPF traps these particles, keeping them from going into the environment. These particles of soot captured in the DPF are up to 700 times smaller than a human hair so it is amazingly effective. Over time, however, these soot particles collect in the DPF and must be cleaned. There are two ways in which the soot trapped in the DPF can be cleaned, passive regeneration and active regeneration. This is perhaps the most confusing part for our customers. There's a lot of detail here, but you will understand what is really going on shortly. Passive regeneration is a natural cleaning process where the engine exhaust temperatures are sufficient to oxidize the soot particles trapped in the DPF. This occurs during normal tractor operations and is the most fuel efficient way to clean the DPF. Active regeneration serves as a backup system to passive regeneration. It is an automatic cleaning process where small amounts of fuel are injected in the exhaust stream, elevating exhaust temperatures to clean the soot particles trapped in the DPF. A part regeneration can be selected by the operator. It is essentially the same as active regen, but the tractor is parked during the process, and I'll discuss this later in the video. This graphic shows how various temperatures will oxidize or burn the soot from your tractor's DPF. You can see that at 600 degrees C, virtually all soot is oxidized from the DPF. You can also see how lower temperatures oxidize the soot much less effectively. When you operate your tractor with low loading conditions, low RPMs, low speeds, the DPF outlet temperature can reach perhaps 150 degrees C. As, you, as the previous graphic would indicate, none of the soot is being oxidized in this scenario. By comparison, tractors elevated in high loading, high RPM, high speed conditions will have the DPF outlet temperature reach between 400 and 500 degrees C. This results in a significant percentage of the soot being oxidized from the DPF and passive regeneration. Obviously, not all of our customers can operate their tractors in this temperature range. They will experience active regen more frequently as a direct result. I will now address the symbols related to the DPF that you or will can see during the operation of your tractor. This is the high exhaust temperature symbol. This will come on when the DPF outlet temperature is approximately 450 degrees Celsius. When the symbol is shown by itself, you're operating the machine with high enough loads and RPMs to enable the soot to be oxidized from the DPF in passive regen. As I mentioned previously, this is the ideal and most fuel efficient way for you to remove soot from the DPF. This can occur up until the DPF soot percentage re reaches 77%. These two symbols, the exhaust filter and the high exhaust temperature symbol, when seen together mean that the tractor is beginning an active regen. The DPF outlet temperature will reach approximately 600 degrees Celsius during an active regen. Based on the graphic I displayed earlier, essentially all this soot is oxidized from the DPF at this temperature. Driven by the engine's ECU, this will take about 30 minutes to complete. If the RPM setting of your tractor is below 1500 RPM, you will see a message on the instrument cluster to increase RPM. It is highly recommended that once an active regen begins, that you allow it to complete the process. Under normal conditions, you will experience the first active regen at the 50 hour mark. 
every 100 hours of operation thereafter, you should expect to see a regen commence. This will take place when the soot percentage in the DPF reaches between 77 and 80 percent. Note, when you see these symbols, if the high exhaust temperature is up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit and your operating environment at the same time is a concern, you should disable the process by pushing the disable button. I do not recommend continually disabling the regen process and especially leaving the tractor in regen disable mode. Disabling the regen process numerous times or leaving it in the regen disable mode will lead to the engine horsepower being derated and either a parked regen being necessary or ultimately a service regen process which is not covered by warranty. The next two symbols, the exhaust filter and the yellow service alert symbols are indicating that the DPS, DPF has a very high level of soot. When you see these two symbols, you need to begin in part regen. Unlike passive regen and active regen, part regen means the tractor cannot be used while this cleaning takes place. This will be necessary when the soot percentage is between 80% and 120%. The steps to execute a part regen are shown on the decal you scanned. They can also be found in your tractor's operator manual. Special care should be taken to ensure the area that you conduct the parked region in is it, the parked region process is free of flammable materials. This process will take 30 to 45 minutes. You will not be able to execute a parked region unless it is greater than 50 hours since its last region or the soot percentage in the DPF is greater than 77%. The final two sets of symbols, the exhaust filter and the red stop sign symbol are indicating that the DPF has an extreme level of soot. This occurs when the soot percentage is great, greater than 120%. Do not use the machine when the symbols are both shown together. Call your servicing dealer immediately. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully these tips will help you understand the overall process and these tips will help you operate your machine for years and years of trouble-free service.